Hey everyone, Teresa with Hickabilly LLC. This is uh, my little greenhouse area. It used to be a chicken coop and I converted it to a greenhouse last year. And this year I put some of my, my original quail in here. So I've got, I came home with seven. I got, um, Belle is in isolation and, and she's also uh, trying to get healthier and recover from, I think, a respiratory, a very bad respiratory problem. And uh, so I have six quail in here of the originals. <clears throat> now I had hatched out 13 chicks and they are around five weeks old now. Chicken, don't you come in here. This is quail territory. But because Fred is no longer um, guarding, and that leaves my livestock uh, very vulnerable. Um, so last night, we have a potentially new neighbor. I don't know if this person's going to live here year round or just come out and visit whenever but they were here yesterday unloading a bunch of stuff they inherited a little house we call the rat house it's in pretty bad shape needs a lot to work which is good that someone's going to fix it up but we call it the rat house because usually there's bunches of rats over there we have foxes that live there skunks and all kinds of things that live over there well there's a family of foxes Fred keeps them at bay, which allows me to be able to open range my chickens, as you can see them there. Ignore all the garbage that's over there. I'm working on cleaning my yard up. It looks like a junkyard. I do want to make it look really nice and fancy and such. It just takes time. But anyway, um, the uh, point is, is my livestock are all left vulnerable because of my dog uh, has uh, made a mistake and so what I did was um, those people who are over at that new rat house working in there stirring up stuff the pups I saw yesterday came out of the corner of my yard ran across the street because my dogs chased after it the ones that were in the yard in their dog yard um, we have a dog run for the dogs that stay contained that kill everything and then we have Fred who would go wherever he wanted and he kept wildlife and predators away from my property and neighbor's properties because he jumps my fences. So now he has to learn his boundaries and he has to stay within my fence. But uh, so uh, since these pups were out, these fox pups, um, and they came over to my house um my critters are vulnerable this is what i built to move my um quail chicks around you know they have a house there and then they have a little run here um that they could be in the in eating up bugs and whatnot um but this is not secure from foxes skunks squirrels i mean squirrels i'm sorry um raccoons and things like that which now is the longer I keep Fred contained, the longer, the, the more uh, potential I'm going to have wildlife in my yard and nothing will be secure anymore. Uh, they can dig under this easy because there is no, um, I don't have any foundation for it. Um, and I can't put a floor on it because I want them to be um, eating the plants and the grasses and cutting that down for me and um, doing their jobs that birds do. And so uh, I had to move them in here this last night because of the, the fox pups were getting relocated because they have intruders on their home now. Um, so my original parent quail are inside this building. I kind of locked them up. So now I got to move this forward some. This will re get relocated elsewhere but um, I'm going to have to do some modifications and um, first of all I got to make their house area bigger because that's not big enough to hold 13 chicks um, or growing chicks. Um, you need what is it three birds per square foot and that's only about 
two square feet, roughly two to four square feet somewhere. And that's just not enough space for the 13 birds. It needs a little bit more, like maybe another square foot or so. And uh, so I could lock them up at night. I need them be, to be able to locked up and secured safe from predators. Uh, and I do want to do a second one for my original quail so I can get them out of my greenhouse. They don't need to be in there. I need to start putting plants in here. And I want to want to get something growing. I need some vegetables. Um, watched another video a friend sent me yesterday that just really made me not want to eat anything from the grocery store. Um, uh, so it's uh, I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting restricted now on more of the foods that I can even even buy, let alone you know something for me to eat. So um, I need to start eating what I grow, including those little critters there, uh, which is why I got them, because I had decided about, um, when did I get them? Three months ago, I decided I was no longer going to buy chicken in the grocery store, so um, that's what their purpose is, and I do have chickens. These are a lot faster, and um, that's why I went for these. So, okay, folks, um, hope you're having a good day. It's been rainy here for two days. I have been not able to do much outside. We did have a little, do have a little bit of a lit up, light up on our rain, um, a little bit because it's still kind of sprinkling here. But, um, yeah, we're gonna, which is good. I am not gonna complain about having rain. Um, uh, we had two years of drought. I am grateful for every drop we get. Uh, we have a lot to make up for. Um, just a few days ago before this rain hit, my goats were complaining that they were out of stuff to eat in the fields. Um, so I'm so grateful to have all of this rain we have. Well, we got a little quail that's upset. Okay, folks, have a great day. Thank you for watching. And um, I, another good news, I just got notification this morning that I am set to go live. So um, I am going to put out, uh, I think Sunday, I am going to do uh, my very first live. You guys, I'm excited. I'm nervous. I hope it's going to be enjoyable and um, hope to see everyone there. Okay, bye.